Hey guys, I'm Brandon here with Poolvolution. So I just got this uh, pair of meter and we're going to uh, check this out. I've been playing with my uh, own personal one for a while now, but haven't been really able to get to in a lot of detail or even read the instructions. So um, this is a long overdue video that we're going to dip right into and see what this PC60Z Apera Zentest uh, pocket tester kit is all about. So when you read the box, it tells you right here that it's a smart 7-in-1 pocket tester. It also comes with an app, the Zentest app, um, to where you can read everything from your phone. You can even save the uh, results from everything on that phone. So you could go through your customer database and all that stuff. But the one that I've got is the PC60Z and it does the pH, it does conductivity, it does a TDS, it does a temperature, and salinity and also you can also get other probes here which this is the ORP uh, probe to where it exchanges out and it will also give you an ORP reading which makes it pretty cool this is their cali uh, calibration pod um, sold separately and then you could also buy bigger solutions so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these solutions put them in these containers so I could walk it through uh, so doing the calibration on this as well so stay tuned let me get some stuff set up here and we're gonna check all this fun stuff out so when you turn this on you can have a light okay so I like that because you can see it a lot better so it takes uh, four AAA batteries which makes it great it's clear and uh, you can see what's going on because sometimes these batteries get acidic and you can see if you're getting a little bit of battery acid or not and it's time to replace so keypad functions all kinds of cool stuff on this thing with the mode the Bluetooth where you're, uh, that's how you get the app is through the Bluetooth and all that stuff um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, calibrate this meter. Um, like I said before, when you download the Zentest app and you use the Bluetooth, you can calibrate the meter through the app. But you can also do it the old-fashioned way. Because I don't use this meter as much as most of you guys are going to, I prefer the app because it straight walks you through and you might forget how to do the calibration, okay? But remember too, the calibration directions are in that box and it's laminated in case they ever get wet. You're going to have them for as long as you're gonna have the meter so it's up to you guys what you want to do like I said before I just gonna give you the information it's up to you whether you guys think this is a valuable product for your business or not so basically what we do here <coughs> is for the calibration excuse me we're going to uh, turn this thing on all right and then we're gonna hit the mode button which is right here it's the middle button that's what I'm gonna do right now and we're gonna go to pH Okay, so if you hit the mode button, it goes to uh, the first setting is pH, then it goes to conductivity, and that's how we're going to do the cal calibration for the salinity as well. So remember, this thing does pH and the salinity, um, conductivity, TDS, the temperature of the water, okay, and like I said before, salinity, and uh, resistivity, okay? So for me, the only thing I'm going to use is the pH, the TDS. Um, to see what's in that water and then also the salinity okay so I brought it down to pH and when you have it on pH all you're gonna do is there's a, a calibration enter button on the very bottom here okay and uh, this thing does three-point calibration okay so the first thing you're gonna start off with a pH of seven then you're gonna go down to uh, four that's included in the kit um, the third point is the pH 10 now when you calibrate meters you really only need to calibrate them to what you're going to be using them for. So we're always in the range of seven, uh, all the way to 8.2. So generally, calibrating this thing using the seven uh, solution is more than enough. And then also they want you to do the four, so which is more than enough. So when you're on the pH, you're gonna hold down the calibration button, which is the lowest uh, button on your meter, okay? And it's going to turn green, all right? In the lower hand, right hand corner, <coughs> it's gonna say seven. Now, which is basically telling you, hey, dip me in the uh, solution number seven, all right? So I got number seven here listed on this pod. That was another good thing about these pods is uh, they gave you stickers and I could label these. So especially when I'm gonna do the salinity here, they're both clear. So I don't know which one's which unless I was able to label them. And they give you stickers with this uh, pod kit and also the big 
um, solutions. So we're gonna do number seven and it's green. Guess what? The solution is green. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna dip that down in here. Uh, my fancy camera guy is gonna tell me when uh, the smiley face is on there and it's reading uh, seven. All right, he's giving me the thumbs up. So what you're gonna do is you're going to hit, let me see if I can get out of the camera. You're gonna hit the same button where it says calibration and enter, okay? Once you do that, it's gonna flash seven. And remember too guys, what's great about this thing, this thing has a lot of uh, air codes. So it's basically like they're self-diagnostic, okay? So if this thing wasn't reading right in the seven range, you won't get the smiley face and it will just go straight to an error. So it makes calibration really easy because you can't screw it up. Like if you were to accidentally dip this in the storage floor solution, it knows its ranges from the factory. So it's gonna say, hey, something ain't right. I'm way too off. So it's not gonna let you calibrate because you're way too far out of the range, all right? So it stopped flashing here. I have tap water in this bottle. You can use some distilled water I'm just, if you prefer which is probably best because this probably can throw off the solutions, but I don't have st distilled water today. So we're gonna say that's distilled water. Um, that's the one thing it doesn't come with is the distilled water in you know, a rag or a paper towel or whatever, okay, for when you're uh, calibrating. I would use the distilled water because it's really easy to throw off calibration solutions. And you guys see too, like with your tailor kits and all that stuff, it doesn't take much to throw off the numbers. But as long as you do everything correctly, you're going to be okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Um, now that we did the one point, we're going to do the two point, okay? So we're going to hit calibrate again. Now, it's the same light, green, and it's going to go to, it's asking for the pH of four solution, all right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to dip it in the four solution. All right, so we got the smiley face. Same thing, guys. I'm gonna hit enter, it's the same button, all right? Take it out and you're good to go. Just make sure you rinse it. Now we're gonna go overhead and move salinity. Now, when I got this one from the factory, it was already calibrated spot on and I didn't really need to calibrate it. So if you have solutions that you already know, okay, this is a solution number seven and you put it in a seven and it's dead on seven, there's no reason to calibrate it. But like I said too, it's cool when you get the app because it also does calibration reminders to let you know, hey, it's time to calibrate. Let's calibrate this thing real quick. So I did the two point calibration and that's all you need. If you really want to get into it you could do three point and you have to buy the uh, solution uh, pH 10 separately I don't recommend doing it there's no need for it it's for other uh, industries okay because these meters are so versatile so now we're going to uh, calibrate for salinity now I already got this going because I hate long videos and this video is getting too lengthy if you ask me so same thing what we did is we went to uh, conductivity we hold down the calibration mode because this is how this thing uh, calibrates itself for the salinity of the pool, how much salt is in the pool. So what we did is it asked for the 1413 uh, solution. We dipped it in there. Right now we have the smiley face and the go ahead to hit the enter button. Now what we're going to do is the same thing over again. We're going to... Uh, We're gonna rinse this off a little bit here. And we're just going to, uh, and the manual says if you dip it in your uh, 1288 solution, and if it's dead on, um, which we'll see here, you don't have to calibrate. So we're dead on, we're like at 12.78, uh, but for you this video we'll do it anyways all right so same thing I probably don't have to do this because it's already in the solution but I'm gonna rinse it off again use distilled water please 
Okay. We're still in conductivity mode. We're going to hold the uh, calibration button down again. All right. So it's going to ask for the 1288. All right. So now we're going to dip it in the 1288 solution. And then once we get the happy face, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And then this is how this thing is going to calibrate for your salinity. All right. So we're good on that. And we're going to hit enter. Okay. And that's it. That's the calibration. And like I said, if you want to use the Zentest app through the Bluetooth, it's a lot easier. And also you can uh, go back to factory settings. All right. What I like about this thing too also as well is there's a little protective cap over this probe. And if you ever get dirty, it gets dirty or anything, you can take this little protective cap off, all right? And uh, try to clean it out safely as possible. I'm not gonna tell you guys how to do it, but uh, what I normally do is I try to like use a little Q-tip or something like that, but um, use whatever you guys think that's safe. And I'm sure there's something in the instructions for that that I haven't read. I'm a man, okay? I try to stay away from the instructions as much as I can. I just like to tinker with stuff. But uh, pretty cool, guys. This is the Aparameter um, digital display, backlight, store settings. It's got the app. When it comes to a pocket tester, this is pretty much the Cadillac so far that I've came across. And it comes with a lot of great stuff. Apera has been really good to me. Your customer service is par for none. And uh, that's about it. I think this is going to wrap up the video. Please like, comment, or uh, ask me any questions that you uh, feel free to ask. Check out Apera, and uh, they also have other meters and also versatile meters. This is basically the universal meter, okay? Because like I've said before, I also test for uh, ORP, and I have the ORP attachment head for this as well.